All right, hey y'all, we're back down at the Chiefs pit with the Petty brothers, Timmy Petty, Mark Petty, and Richie Petty. You know, racing, it's a its a team sport and it takes everybody and to, working as a unit to be successful from the driver to the crew chiefs, to the car owners, to the mechanics, engine man. But there, one, one big aspect of it is having a stable family life that really pushes these guys and uh, the women behind them was what probably pushed Petty Enterprises to be most successful. We had grandmother and mama, Patricia Petty and Linda Petty. They were they were big supporters of the of their men, and they were strong uh, 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 assets to helping them achieve what they needed to be done. They took care of stuff in the background, so their men could go out here and make it happen, didn't they? And, and, and they, would, they had an equal enthusiasm and excitement about the whole deal. And, you know, one of the things that Grandmother did early on, and a lot of people talked about it, was her fried chicken, which, you know, right. as we got older, she didn't do a lot of cooking. But, you know, she was pretty famous with that, and Mama as well, and, and the well, way they used to picnic. And Go back to the beginning with Lee Boy and Grandmother when they first started. They were, they were a team unit. And my grandfather would tell the stories of actually grandmother working on cars, wouldn't she? Oh yeah, he he talked about how he, he and, she, and she would take the steel wool when he took the heads off and, yep. <laughs> and clean the tops of the pistons. Yep. Now she wasn't one of the, uh, to talking about that, but she she would get out and get her hands dirty, wouldn't she? Well, and, and grandmother did a lot of the bookkeeping early on, and we have some of those ledgers, but she would keep things down to the penny. Oh yeah. I mean it was. And, and well, and you got to think when they started, they didn't have nothing. So yeah. they, they was they was working together right. to, to put food on the table. Right. I mean, you know, to, to, to build a family. But the uh, well, yeah. and and mother and through the, through the years was not uncommon for her to be driving. You know, we, we, some of these places you drive, well, all right? She'd be well, right mama, there driving. Mama grew up in it because of Pop Red. Right. So she she knew what racing was, and then she married Daddy, and uh, she was a big supporter of everything he had going on. But I know when we started racing, she was probably our biggest supporter. As far as we needed something, she she made it happen, didn't That's she? That's right. Yeah. Well, and even behind the scenes, while while they were at the shop working, you know, the the, the mother, Linda, everybody, they they took care of the house. They mm -hmm. raised the kids, got the kids to school, mowed the yards, did the gardens, the whole deal. I mean, they Don't they work as hard as they work as hard as the men did. And here's where they worked hard too, and a lot of people didn't see it. Behind the scenes, when it's at racetracks at events and stuff, with sponsors, they were good with sponsors. I mean, they could yep. made them feel at home, feel feel welcome. And uh, they were they were a big part of that too, wasn't they? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, over the years we had that, that camper, the Travco camper, and people would come up there, and that would that'd be like, probably one of the first times that people had that, that they would meet with those kind of people. Well, that's what people, they don't they don't realize what the, the, the wives, how big important they was because like you're saying, they would do things behind the scenes, then they would get food ready and they would cater for the pit crews. Oh, yeah. They would fix all that. Plus, they would have to meet and greet with sponsors and track officials. And, and they stuff. were probably therapists on the way home <laughs> yes, after a race. Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean yeah. Keeping oh, yeah. them calm oh, yeah. and, yeah. and, oh, and yeah. just somebody to talk to and hash the race over with. Well, uh, I, I can just remember, you know, some of the big races that they actually was able to win and and, and how excited our mother would get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, just well, I think we talked about one episode you just talking about the 79 500 yep, with jumping off Kale and Donnie wrecked and yeah. she jumped up and down. On the, but yeah, they, they were as excited as anybody. She was paying attention. Oh, ain't no doubt. Yep. You know, and grandmother, she was, she was active keeping up with the racing until she, she died. I mean, she... She was she was big into it. Well, I remember, um, and, and kind of getting away from the racing part, but I, and I didn't realize I was this aggravating. But all <laughs> all the field trips that uh, we would take when I was in elementary school and on up, and even in middle school, I'd always volunteer mom to be a chaperone, <laughs> and, and she never would deny me. But it's like later on she said, you know, you volunteered me for a lot of that stuff, and, and I don't think she really wanted well, to do some of it, you know. Well, you know that uh, she, she's busy, had a lot going on. This, this this right here is going to show you some teamwork, and just I just thought about this memory. Nineteen seventy three, 
Mark had contracted meningitis and he was in the hospital for several days. Yeah. And Mama stayed up there with him, and Grandmother watched the rest of us, so Daddy could continue doing what he was doing. He was checking in with the hospital and go up there and check on Mark, but he had to come back and get things going. But Grandmother watched us and enabled Daddy to be able to continue what he was doing while Mama was taking care of Mark at the hospital. You remember that? Yeah, well, I thought y'all all went to the beach when I went to the hospital. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we, we went but to yeah, that had to be stressful times yeah. because everybody had to chip in and help yeah. out. Oh, yeah. So it was I, that was why, I, I guess back to the thing about being a success, they all worked together, and when somebody needed something, somebody else stepped in. So it was, it was always helping each other. Yeah, whatever it took. Yep. I can, one, of the, one of the funny things about grandmother is, you know, We'd go in there in the evenings, and they, and they eat supper pretty early. Oh, they did. Well, she, nine out of ten times, she would have cornbread mm-hmm. because Lee loved cornbread. And then he would take out it and crumble it up and put it in, the, and they oh, called yeah. it sweet milk. Yeah. It was just straight Regular up milk. milk. But, uh, you know, and a lot of times I'd go in there and eat a little something with them. But, uh, you know, it, it, just, just the things, that the small things, even with Mother and, and, and the things that they did, it, it seemed pretty insignificant at the time, but now it's it's big. Oh, it is. It's a, it's a big deal. But you remember, Grandmother, you're talking about going in there eating. At our house with Mama Trish, we had sweet tea, and that's what we drank. So we was always drinking sweet tea. But you went to eat at Grandmother's. Grandfather, he'd pour you a glass of milk. Ugh. You had to drink God, milk. milk. You had to drink God. milk with your milk. Okay. Okay. Well, we're getting up, but you're talking about going in there while they was eating. Remember, he always kept that little bit of that little jar yeah. of vinegar on the yeah. table. Yeah. And he'd say, take you a drink of that, Mark. It'll put hair on your yes. chest. <laughs> I think it burnt the hair off your chest. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But, and, and the candy cabinet in yeah. grandmother's house. Oh, yeah. She always had, it was the candy. The cup, turtles. The, and, and raisins. Yep. Chocolate covered raisins. And I think she had the chocolate covered peanuts, but she kind of had them hidden in that little cabinet she had, you know. Mm. Oh, you had to ask for it. Oh, you couldn't well, just help yourself. Yeah, it was, had a little, the, little, little skeleton key. But uh, but, but the things those those women did behind the scenes for for all of us, I mean, for the whole family, oh, yeah. Oh, was yeah. was had to be part of the success. I keep thinking about the food. Well, yeah. well, well how can you not? Yeah, but yeah. that's that's everything. Bookkeeping to cooking to keeping the kids to. Take doing the score, yeah. Take score, yeah. All that that's stuff. right. Grandmother yeah. scored. Mama would score us. So yeah. everybody. Yeah. I mean, all yeah. the women. I'm even I'm oh, yeah. even Sharon and then yeah. scored yeah. at yeah. times. Sort of long. So Aunt Gail, uh, somehow or another, you know, every once in a while she would pick us up at school. And this one, we, I was still in elementary school, and for some reason, I I was eavesdropping, mm. and I, 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 in my mind, Aunt Gail was supposed to pick us up at. The hairdressers. Mm. I don't know how I come up with that, but uh, Lisa and I was, you know, she was a little younger than me, and so I went and got her, and we didn't get on the school bus. We were supposed to get on the school bus that day. At the elementary school? Yes. So I said, hey, we're supposed to meet Aunt Gail down at the hairdressers. So it was a pretty good little walk. And uh, anyway, Aunt Linda, (laughs) when, when they got off the bus, they said, where's Timmy and Lisa at? And I'm like, oh, well, I didn't say nothing because I was walking still. Right. And so they hauled butt the, to where the Jitterburger was still there when you crossed the river at mm-hmm. Random. And I remember seeing the van. We were almost getting ready to cross. We were going to walk home because there was nobody. Yeah. <laughs> That's an eight-mile walk, right? Yeah. Yeah. At least. <laughs> yeah. And there was nobody. I mean, we went in there. And, hey, uh, where's Aunt Gail at? Oh, she uh, she left this did morning. Did you get your butt whooped for that? Did not, but I think everybody else did. Okay. Mm. Way to go, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to. Well, okay, we're getting off topic, but we're talking about getting your butt whooped. <laughs> Me and Mark, we oh, had a gosh. similar story. To this at Daytona Beach, and, and uh, used to at Daytona, they'd have a, a ice cream truck or a hot dog truck on the on the uh, on the on the beach, and we got the bright idea we was gonna go get us some ice cream. And well, we had to be about seven, eight years old. Yeah, we wasn't very old. Oh man, and I can't imagine. And then I talked Richie and let's go all the way to the pier. Yeah, it's about a mile away. So we we I kept because we too. kept walking and kept looking for the ice cream truck. We kept walking and walking. Well, we didn't know. Everybody back at the hotel was panicking because we was gone. They didn't know if he's out in the ocean and drowned or in there drowned or whatever. And I guess this is really before people started picking up people. But you know, you never know. 
But anyway, we come saw, just walking back in. <laughs> to like, What's going on? <laughs> oh man, they jerked oh, us. Ugly. They 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 jerked us up and all this hugged us and all. We're glad you're back. It was a good whooping. Yeah, I we, thought we, I thought y'all wanted to see us. Why are you whipping us? <laughs> <laughs> glad to see us. But having kids today or growing up. So I, I so going back, that. that's probably where the women took care of things because they were disciplined us. Yeah. Right. By the rest, by the men well, they're, were out they're working, at, yeah, they're at the, yeah, and they didn't have time to yeah, worry about where, where we were. Yeah, at the Daddy loved them beach hot dogs, though. Remember? Oh yeah, yep. Gosh, who didn't? No, I, I'd mean. like to have one right now. Hmm. Well, here's a, uh, a well, shout yeah. out to all the, the the ladies of the Petty family. We thank you for for what you did for us. And I uh, guess we should say Happy Mother's Day. Well, but Happy Mother's up. Day. Yeah, we we appreciate everything that they did for us, and when uh, you know. Here's to all the women of the Petty family. Like and subscribe. Mm-hmm.